Behind me is the iconic Elgin Tower, built and designed by the St. Louis Banking Company. Construction began in March of 1928 and was completed in May of 1929. At the time it was built, the building was praised for its classic simplicity with a touch of Gothic details. But today we look at the building and can see the Art Deco designs. The gray granite has bas-relief sculptures carved into it rather than applied to the exterior. And you can see this most at the entrance to the building, where there are two columns flank, but the columns are engaged to the wall to flatten their depth, and the acanthus leaves in the Corinthian capitals have also been flattened. It's almost as if after the stone mason carved the Corinthian capitals, he took a giant iron to his work to flatten it out. While the bank the building was built for failed just nine months after construction was complete, the Elgin Tower continues to serve as a beacon for the Fox River Valley. I'm standing at the corner of Spring Street and Fulton Street, where behind me stands another excellent example of Art Deco commercial architecture in Elgin. This was the Salvation Army, built in 1930 and designed by Albert Falo. One of the hallmarks of Art Deco is the way the building steps back from the street, and that's a little bit more difficult to do with only a two-story building. Falo achieved that by applying crystalline structures to the facade of the building and then flattening the facets of those crystalline structures. You can see that along the parapet of the building. The Salvation Army was housed here until 1971 when they moved to their new location on North Spring Street. Currently, the building holds the Senior Services Center. The armory was built in 1930 as part of the Federal Works Progress Administration project. It cost just $125,000 to build, and it is Art Deco in style. Now, at first glance, you might say there's absolutely no detail or ornament on this building, but if you look at the fins on the front of the building that extend above the parapet and have different facets to them, almost like a crystal, those are Art Deco elements. Also, just the very way that they put the name of the building over the front entrance. Illinois Armory is actually recessed into the limestone facade. The eagles that flank the entrance are also characteristic of the Art Deco style. And the diagonals in between the windows are hints of the Navajo blanket pattern styles. On the first floor between the windows are pilasters, which are sort of like columns that engage the walls, and they are fluted like a typical column, but again, it's very flat, which is characteristic of the Art Deco style. The armory continues to house the Illinois National Guard. It's located at the corner of Raymond and Gifford Place. It's a nice little out of the way spot if you want to check out some of Elgin's Art Deco. McGraw Edison built the building you see behind me in 1938 to manufacture Toastmaster toasters and toaster ovens. The executive offices in the front are really the Art Deco elements of this building. Many critics of Art Deco would tell you that it's not actually a style at all, it's just blank buildings with little decoration. And if you looked at this building, you might agree with them because the facade is completely devoid of all decoration except for some carved limestone reliefs over the entrances. It's over the front entrance that you see the biggest relief. It is a carving of workers turning raw materials into goods and services for the public. And over the employee entrance on the north side of the building, you can see a carving of workers toiling day and in the night to make those goods and services. To see this example of Art Deco in Elgin, you need to head south on Route 25 just outside the city.